On Tuesday, a five-year-old Kentucky boy accidentally shot and killed his two-year-old sister with a gun he'd been given as a birthday present. The weapon is a small fire, a small rifle, and was manufactured specifically for children's use. The company was My First Rifle. It was a 22 caliber gun from the Keystone Sporting Arms Youth Branch. Cricket is the name. Cricket's website markets itself as especially for youth shooters. There's pictures all over with uh, kids that are holding the gun, shooting the gun. And it is ideally sized for children between the ages of four and 10 years old. They even go as far as to have the gun in different colors. Like there's one, I saw one little girl using it and it was a pink gun. So they really go out of their way to try to market it. You know, you know what it reminds me of? It's the equivalent of like when cigarette companies try to come out with different flavored cigarettes to try to uh, push uh, advertising towards school kids. Like, oh, you don't like cigarettes? Seems like an old man type thing. Well, how about you try these pineapple ones or these lime ones or these strawberry flavored ones? Now all of a sudden they want it. A lot of states ban that, right? And they used to have, uh, cigarette companies would have really colorful certain packages for cigarettes in an attempt to get kids more interested. And other states ban that as well. So it's, I mean, it's really a sick thing. But furthermore, honestly, I didn't even know. And this is sad because I should have known, especially for what I do. Y you can, that's legal? A five-year-old kid to shoot a gun and have a gun and to manufacture guns specifically the size for kids man that is crazy and honestly you don't even have to be a, a Republican or a right-winger or a conservative or you could believe in the Second Amendment and still think all right well that's a little bit over the line when you look at the laundry list of the laws that we have on in different states in the United States, and even on a federal level, between what's legal uh, uh, regarding guns, it'll drive you mad. We've talked about uh, provisions in certain states, it's legal to carry a weapon in church. Some states it's legal to carry in a bar while intoxicated. What could go wrong there? On a federal level, it's legal for somebody on the terrorist watch list to buy a gun. And now we five-year-olds buying guns? Let me ask you a question. Uh, when it comes to anything else, right? It, cigarettes, uh, alcohol, driving. We set age limits. Guns, you can't set an age limit? And then they always go back to, what's well, the Constitution, Constitution? You idiot. I already went over the history of the Constitution. The first sentence is for a well-regulated militia. It's not about an individual's right to bear arms. It's about a well-regulated militia. The word regulated is right in there. You're telling me you think that makes sense? No, but you, seriously, even if you're a conservative, you can't think that makes sense. A five-year-old legally being able to shoot a gun? But then mistakes like this happen. And by the way, they might say, oh, Kyle, but you're pointing to a fringe case. This doesn't happen often. Really, that's cute. In one week alone last month, four people were shot by toddlers. That's one month. How many, how many times would it have to happen? Or how obscene would one specific case have to be before we do something? But we already have the answer to that question. There is literally nothing that will make us do anything. How do I know that? Well, how can you get any worse than what happened to Sandy Hook? 20 first graders got massacred. No gun control. Can't, can't even do a fucking background check. Never mind a universal background check. Can't do a watered down background check. A, a, a case where a five-year-old in Kentucky accidentally kills a two-year-old. No, nope, can't do anything. I don't think it's unreasonable to ask to maybe set the age limit at 16 years old for guns. I'm crazy. Apparently, I'm crazy if you listen to the right wingers. As, is it crazy to say t suspected terrorists shouldn't get guns, felons shouldn't get guns, can't carry in a bar or church? Apparently, I'm, I'm the crazy one. But you look at the numbers and tell me who really are the crazy people. When we have gun anarchy... And look, it just so happens we have 11,000 gun deaths on average per year. Britain, less than 100. France, less than 100. Australia, less than 100. Japan, single digits. There was 22 murders in Japan one year by gun. It was a national scandal. Everybody flipped out. 
Here, here we do 30 on average per day, per day.